Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be one of those rambling videos where I'm going to be talking about the comments you guys have left on my videos. And this video is more about, I'll be talking to all of my subscribers. Uh, currently it's like 176 subscribers. And I'm very thankful for you guys for your support and subscribing to my video, commenting on those stuff. So I thought it's high time now I speak about those comments where I thought like uh, making a dedicated video would explain the situation better uh, from from all of your comments I've made some questions and remarks that you guys have left on the video so I'm gonna be trying to answer those questions as best as possible the question number one is like is MacBook 2017 is still a good buy in 2021 <laughs> uh, my MacBook video on MacBook Air 2017 was one of the, my top videos in my channel so I think like uh, I bought that MacBook when uh, when it was launched like I bought it on 2018 at that time it was fairly new device so it has served me well for last two years and and frankly speaking uh, if you are planning to buy MacBook Air 2017 on year 2021 uh, would not be a wise choice though there are plenty of other good devices that you could get and I think you should strive for better device since uh, you'll be using the same device for like uh, for upcoming two or more years uh, try buying MacBook Air maybe macbook mini if you want the apple product itself try the one with the arm chip i think it will be a future now another co uh, comment uh, that was left was how to create a file picker or file manager kind of app that is uh, that can also play some audio file and display some metadata like album arts and stuff so i looked into it like i thought like uh, this is going to be a quite uh, wonderful project to work on but i realized that uh, most of the time i only have a ios device as of now so file manager application on ios device is quite tricky for me it's, it seemed to be not feasible at at this moment and if any of other uh, any of you guys have already made such application on iOS app or maybe on an Android app, uh, you guys can share the videos, uh, share the video, or maybe the source code down in the comment section as well. That would help the other guy, right? So another issue is uh, like there's a, there's a existing recording on my voice recorder app, right? So when I launched that voice recording application, uh, I think there is some bug in the code or something. There where whenever you initialize the app, uh, there's uh, two or more recording already there which are not able to play so i think it's not a big issue i think many of you have already commented on it and on how to delete those files so i think it's resolved and we don't need to talk any more about it so i'm working on something I at the end of the video, I'll be talking about how we can discuss all this thing. So another video was like how to create a voice recording app on Flutter. Like I think it's really difficult of, uh, to create a voice recording app completely on Flutter. I looked into it, I've searched a little bit and I have not found anything useful that I could work with. Usually when we, when we are always, uh, when we are working on Flutter application, we mostly depend on the external packages. For this currently, uh, we didn't find one. Uh, so that means... <laughs> You have to work with the uh, native application if you are working for uh, if you want to make voice recording app for Android then you might have to write some native code as well. Sadly, I don't uh, know how don't know much about coding in the native kit uh, native native for Android as well as iOS on making the voice recording application. So this is gonna be a big project. If I had to make it, I would not be publishing on the YouTube itself. I would have uh, maybe <laughs> publish on the App Store itself and make some ad revenue on that mm. it's uh, so what i'm trying to say is, is it is not possible uh, not impossible but it's it's going to be a very big project i think it's it's not going to be a good video for youtube so uh, another comment was like uh, make a video on flutter packages like lottie which are hard to use i looked into the hot lottie package but i thought like this lottie package works with adobe software some adobe after effects or something and I don't have any prior knowledge on Adobe stuff, so that's why I, I'm not able to do work on this uh, Lotti package. At this point of the video, I feel like I'm just making excuses right now. <laughs> but this is what it says, right? Uh, and last but not least, is like I don't think this question comes up very often nowadays, but it used to come. Is MacBook uh, is is the Big Sur is stable on MacBook Air 2017? Yeah, it's quite stable. I'm, I've been using the Big Sur since it was launched, and everything is quite fine. I don't see any issue. Most of the time, I, my device is connected to the uh, power adapter, and I don't see any specific issue that you should be worried. There might be a little bit of lag, but I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I'm not that picky in this operating system and stuff. So it's it has been hit. So since I'm uh, working on this comments and stuff, uh, so I thought like 
there should be a better way to exchange those problems, right? So that we could help each other or anybody from this YouTube channel could have someone else who is working on the same project, right? So I decided to make a release a Flutter cheat sheet uh, which I uh, maintain in my Notion application. So this cheat sheet has something like, uh, if I had to show, these are the small uh, Flutter snippets of codes that I have kept on my Notion so that I could refer it when I'm, when I'm working on another project so that I don't have to Google. I've decided to share it publicly. So the link to this Flutter cheat sheet will be down in the description as well. And one more thing, I have created a Discord server for us. Uh, the invitation link to the, our Discord server is also there. Currently, it has only two channels, all are text-based channels. Uh, one for general and another for help and support. So currently, I have two person as of now and both are offline. So you guys could join there and share, uh, communicate with each other and you can uh, raise an issue regarding the codes uh, project that you are trying to clone or videos on which you are trying to work on, right? So uh, we are open for any new changes. This is a fairly new server. I think with the help of every one of you, I think we could uh, create a community around it and it would be helpful for everyone. And in that way, I thought like I, I'll be able to contribute more and I'll be able to see your screenshots and stuff, which is not possible in the comment section, right? Uh, this is more like an update video. I'm also working on another tutorial. Maybe I'll be able to publish it sooner, but it, it, it is taking quite a bit of time. So be patient. That's been it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any question or any comments, then please don't forget to write down in the comment section. And as always, don't uh, forget to give a like or maybe subscribe if you're new to this channel. Link to the, all my social media will be down in the description as well. And join the Discord server. Thank you so much, guys. This has been it.